Elliot, um, on the pitch obviously superb for us this year, but off the pitch, uh, the guy's just been a revelation. Um, since he's come back to the club, part of his community work has been visiting youth centres, uh, educational establishments, uh, things like that, um, going out on the estate-based work that we do, talking to the young people about his experiences, uh, the mistakes he's made and the, the second chances that he's had and how he's embracing that. Uh, and it, it's, it's just been a wonder for us. The kids have, have really enjoyed talking to him and listening to him, hearing about his experience uh, and how he's turned himself around. Uh, and you can tell, tell in his football uh, that he's just a different man. Not being in jail ain't the hardest thing, but it's what happens after. You're labelled as a criminal, you get what I'm saying? And the choices you make after that, it's not, there ain't too much doors that, that are open to people after that, you get what I'm saying? So, not going into in the first place is so cool. Um, the reason why I do it is because I feel that I've been through a lot and I've got a lot of experience even at such a young age. So um, I, f I feel the need that I feel the need to share share these experiences. And um, being a footballer, the kids seem to not cross, but seem to interact with me a certain way that. Um, I'm not sure they get anywhere else, so I'll try and do as much as possible. The scariest thing, not going to jail, not what was going on in jail, but the scariest thing was what am I going to do after? Um, my name is Louis St. Hall, I'm 16. My name is Kamal Tyson, I'm 18. Um, you come across quite genuine in it, like what he was talking about, about how he went to prison and how he dealt with things. So it kind of gave us an insight in it, like how to, like, like mentally. I have to keep it just, just focused on football and not enough things around you. Yeah. Well, I don't, like, I don't know where I would be at. I don't know what I would be doing. I don't know. I personally think if I didn't have football, I don't know. I can't tell you. Like, I've got, I've got friends that and Joe doing sitting in there for life that they will never come out. You know what I'm saying? I've got friends that are dead. You know what I'm saying? So. It's easy for me. That, that, that's motivation enough, I think, to get Well, I think what we found with Elliot is that he speaks to them on a level that some of us, age, background, whatever, wherever we live, we can't connect with them on that certain point. So he talks their language, and that's very important because the young people that we work with are no different to Elliot in their in their aspiration, but also their background and the, and the trouble they could potentially get into. So having a I hate to use the word role model, but having somebody like Elliot who's been there, done that, been through it, got into trouble, come out the other end and rebuilt himself is, a, is a really strong. I've learnt, um, I've learnt to know that you can, wherever you are in life, if it's low or medium, you can still get to where you want to be. Because in his position, being in prison, like, you would think it would never be a player at Leighton Orient and to come back, it's just, it's almost a dream for me. Stupid I was, but not stupid, but I was a bit naive to think that, all right, cool, if I don't get involved in, I don't know, maybe the fighting, the selling drugs and whatnot, whatnot, I'll be cool, I'll be cool, do you know what I'm saying? But I always know that, okay, that's not what I would go with. But it didn't work out like that, literally just being there or literally just, being associated with these people was enough to to get me in trouble so I didn't really physically have to go out and fight or sell drugs or whatnot to get in trouble do you know what I'm saying it don't really work like that but literally just being there was enough the work that he's done for us and the community has been fantastic and I think it's actually worked for Elliot himself as you can see in his football um, it's working for him it's working for the community it's working for Lake Norris football club to do that from come to here to there it's just you have to applaud him because not a lot of people do that. Some people are still in prison in this position and it takes that just mindset just to know where you want to go in the future. I've been talking to various people and um, they seem to think I've got, um, got a good knack for it, for interacting with, with um, kids and that. So it could definitely be something that I would look to do a lot more of.